Ooh, look at it. Look at the majesty of this thing. Man, so a year and a half ago, we bought this thing sight unseen because it's probably the greatest vehicle that we've ever had as a starting point. You Technically, agree? Technically, I saw it on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, but you never saw it in person? Never no, saw I just a video? Knew. I just knew it was a great idea. Just knew we had to have it. Yeah. Not only is it like the full-on Chrysler, I think it's a Newport, but it's got bonus doors. Check this out. Count them, Dave. One, oh. two, three, four handles on each side. Yeah. You know what, the greatest thing about this vehicle is that it's not a limo. It's an airport car. So it's not designed for like, you know, the Las Vegas stripper party. It's designed to haul people from an airport to a hotel. So it's got one, two, three, four doors on each side and bench seats in each location. 12, that's how many people you could fit in here comfortably. 16 if you try hard. Enough. Exactly. Oh, look at the mold, yuck. Look at all of the controls on the dash. What is that? The front seat has headrests built into it. It reminds me of the bucket seats in some of your cars. Yeah. This I thing's can... gangster, man. It needs tin windows and a big block and a locked rear end. And a lot of burnouts for distance. Yes. I can see the snow from where I'm standing by looking through the carpet of the car. That's a bad sign. But during the summer, it won't matter. That's like air conditioning. It's like opening the bat cave here. Open, uh -huh. says me. Wow. Ah. Can you smell it from here? No roadkill car belongs in a shop this nice. <laughs> this looks a lot better than the last time we saw it. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't? No, it doesn't. Look at the roof rack, dude. Oh, there's a lot of stuff growing in there. Oh, and it stinks. Yeah, it's funky. So I will say it again, this is not a limo. It's an airport car, which was a specific thing that existed in the 50s through the mid-70s. Let's drift this around snow. What makes it not a limo? What makes it not a limo is that it has four rows of seats. Limos don't have that. There's no partition. Limo would be a big, nice open area back here with just another set of doors. You're right. Like... Airport cars were before they had, like, shuttle services at the airport. It's actually disgusting. It's all moldy. It is. <laughs> it stinks. I want to drive it, but I don't want to be in it. They had to put a new big block Chrysler in it. It's a 400 cubic inch big block. They had to deal with suspension, brakes. They had to throw a section of sheet metal in the front in order to cover the rust holes this big. But we're gonna have fun because this thing is absurd. And by the way, not factory. An aftermarket company stretched this thing out and probably did it very sketchy. That aftermarket company being Stageway Coaches Incorporated, body by Arm Brewster in Fort Smith, Arkansas. I'm not leaving this building until we clean and disinfect this car. Oh, die, spiders, die. Oh, they don't wanna move. Ah! Oh my god, dude. Yuck. It'll come out. Ow. Holy cow, there's no floor there. <laughs> oh, it's heavier than I thought. Ready? Let's go. All right, let's go. Ugh. This is the most disgusting dashboard we've ever had. All right, you ready? As I'll ever be. Oh, it's, the steering is very stiff. It's really loud with no floor. Oh, the fumes are really bad. It's been one and a half miles, and even I cannot cope with the exhaust fumes. So watch this. This is pretty genius. We got rubber floor mats and a weighted blanket. So we're going to cover giant holes in the floor with rubber floor mats. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's going to work. Yeah, it's pretty good. Have you seen this floor? Yeah. There we go. That's much, much better. Do you want to weight it down with this dash? Sure. There we go. I just joined the Wolf Pack. And the return of Homeless Day. Woo! Oh, you're back. Yeah. Welcome. It's good to see you. <laughs> this is going to keep me alive. No shame in my game. <laughs> Ladies, not available. Wow, seems better already. Oh, yeah. It actually does. It was fuming me out. The steering is so strong.
strange. Like, but you turn the wheel at least 30 degrees before anything happens. So watch this. Ready? Oh, weird. Yeah. Dude, I yeah. saw that. It's Dude. like a delayed reaction. Yeah. That makes no sense. No evasive maneuvers. I've never seen that before. That is weird. So watch, it's gonna go to the right, right? Yeah. I'm gonna start correcting left oh! and nothing happened. <laughs> oh, death. That's pure death. Uh, welcome to Fargo, we're back. Let's feed this thing through the wood chipper. <laughs> I'm sure they're tired of that joke here. All right, so there's a roundabout go straight. I don't know if we're gonna make it if I go straight. All right, good luck, everybody. We're coming. Made it. Never done a donut in a limo before. Remember, it's 24 feet long. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, never let it be said that we don't listen to our fans because you spoke, we heard you loud and clear. This limo deserves to be on dirt. Better yet, a banked dirt oval racetrack like this one. The audience continues to challenge us and we continue to answer those challenges. Yes. You gonna answer it first or am I gonna answer it first? I, I actually wanna watch, I gotta be honest. Oh I yeah? Do. So I'm up. Don't break it. I'll stand on the infield. I, you get four laps, one warm up, two hots, one cool down. Here we go. Okay, I've got eight doors, a 20 foot wheelbase, a two barrel with no power. Ooh, I can actually fling it a little bit here. It's so majestic looking as it goes around here. All right, here comes lap number one. Oh, look at that. Hanging it out there all the way through turn one. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it doesn't have enough power to carry it. <laughs> Don't see that for significant problem. Lap, boom. All right, that was a 25.14 second lap. Oh, he's getting aggressive now. what I thought. It's on the rim. It just popped, dude. That's weird. I can break anything. Um, <laughs> and I know this is going to sound a lot like a or lose the shot moment, but we lose the track in an hour. We can't. <laughs> we do. I mean, we don't have a spare, right? Like, that's it. Well, I dove the thing into the turn up here, and that right front tire just dug into the dirt because the thing weighs so much and the dirt's so thick. We were hoping we could pop it back on the bead with the uh, can of air, but it looks like there's a hole on the inside. Well, that was short-lived. That limits our uh, options here. You want to do some laps on three tires? OK. OK. Mike Finnegan, freestyle. So he's going to go out on the flat tire and see what kind of fun he can have in this thing. It is a uh, roadkill with more doors and less floors. Here we go. Oh, it pulls to the right immediately. Oh man, that thing looks ridiculous. You know, this car is actually more hilarious than I've given it credit for. It doesn't want to turn very well. He said I ran 25 and a half seconds. 
He is going faster than I was right now. He's also not sliding it. Oh, 28.5, three seconds slower when he's down, handicapped by one tire. Oh, he's hauling now. I hope he's having fun. Ooh, he might be faster this time. 23, 24, 25. That tire is coming apart hard. Uh oh, I think I lost my tire. He's really pushing it. I have a feeling he wants to kill the motor. Seven, eight. <laughs> I gotta stop. The engine is so not happy. <laughs> that does not breathe good. <laughs> Twenty-seven, eight was your oh, best. That was all she had. You were handicapped. I was handicapable. I felt good about that. <laughs> it was fun. Let's look at this tire. New sport limo racing on three wheels. When you got eight doors, you only need three tires. You just don't care. So we're going to keep on going. Finnegan, once again, laying it down on bare rim. Ooh, burnout. Oh, he runs over his own tire. And the doors fly open. Let's see what he does. Ooh, sliding it a little bit. to a stop. It's still running. We might be done here. We're stuck. What did you do? I broke the gas pedal. This is not a failure failure. There is no throttle cable. It's gone. The car is not dead. I say we keep it. Oh, absolutely. There's more fun to be had with this. You take the boring car, you move it to a different place, you have more fun. Clearly, the dirt track was where this thing belonged its whole life. Boring is as boring does. Indeed. I'll see you next time on Roadkill.